We know last Friday night was cold. It turned out to be deadly cold for that Boston woman who was attempting to walk from the financial district to the north end less than 500 yards and probably not dressed for it. Probably any other night, literally any other night in the last 25 years. It's no big deal, but it was, you know, just the wrong night. I mean, it's so incredibly cold. For Melanie DeVosta, it was the wrong night to walk home. Temperatures Friday night were below zero. Wind chills closer to minus 20. This photo of Brian and his sister Melanie was taken close to 8 o'clock Friday night at a Boston comedy show. Later, she left to meet friends in the financial district before she would head home to the North End, like so many times before. It's a walk that she's made uh, more than a thousand times, probably. I mean, you know, she she was in and around this area. She. Uh, I mean, it was five minutes from here. Boston police say Melanie was found unresponsive on this Christopher Columbus Park bench after 3 a.m. It's unclear how long she had been there. When you get this extreme cold, the margin for error shrinks. Dr. Matt Mustafi is an ER doc at Tufts Medical Center and says hearing about a death over the weekend does not surprise him. That can have profound consequences because when it's that cold, it doesn't take long to succumb. We will never see a colder night in Boston ever, and it just happened to be that Friday night. The expectation when we all left that evening was, you're going to take an Uber, right? And I, I'm pretty confident that she took the Uber to, to, to meet up with her friends, and, and then, you know, she, she didn't. She chose, she decided to walk home and, you know, Melanie was a proud graduate of North Reading High School this coming weekend in North Reading. There will be a memorial service for her. Live in the North End, I'm Ted Wayman, WCVB, News Center 5.